Don't blink. Pick a sword gets started. Round number one brought to you by Dragon Energy, official energy drink of the Extreme Fighting Championship. In the yellow, it's Chikasa. In the black and the white, Bezaidno. See, Bezaidno has got that traditional kickboxing stance. If you look the way his body is balanced and the width that his feet are apart. And then you see that massive reach when one of the arms gets stuck out by Matunga. Chikasa and Bezaidno. Is there any relation to Jason Bezaidon? Can you confirm or deny? Neither. But <laughs> not impossible. <laughs> Certainly not impossible. I'm sure he's watching right now. The former head of the MMA organization in South Africa now lives abroad. Kick to the body by Jikasa. Both guys just feeling each other out. And this is certainly something that you can see. Respect for the power. Neither wants to overcommit early on. Of course, last time that Jacasa competed, it was against Quentin Rousseau. Oh, fancy and we, for a heavyweight. And we saw what Rousseau did in his EFC debut. He is a monster, and here comes Jacasa bringing that Triple H power. You, oh my that goodness, for he's hitting hard. Inside leg kick. Jacasa's looking to finish it. He's getting through with a couple of those shots, and he's oh, landing dirt. hard. These are bombs. Throwing those big lunch boxes, big fists. Well, let me tell you something, that overhand that the Zedno threw wasn't just hard, it was very, very fast as well. If I was Jacosa, I'd throw, but I'd keep my hands up high. Absolutely, the Zed oh, and he, he, I think he's hurt. Uh, I, th oh, I, th I think he did an ankle there, possibly roll his ankle. Now, Jacosa is looking to finish. The Zedno, though, he is not going to give up, standing right there in the pocket. But we just haven't seen a whole lot of offense out of the Assassin. Jukasa now chasing him down, cutting off the corners. Vika Swart telling him to close his hand. When he punches, of course, with his open finger gloves, you can easily poke someone in the eye. Jukasa's landing, though. Good punches, good kicks. Yeah, Jukasa's very unassuming. When you see him outside of the hags, even when he's walking in, he doesn't look like a guy that's necessarily a fighter. He's a big guy. Oh, nice head kick by Besaidno. Finds its mark. But he's getting down to business there, and Besaidno starting to fire back. Yeah, all business. Like you say, he just looks like a super calm guy that exactly. would never say he's actually a professional fighter. But right now, he is showing that he most certainly is. Now, Besaidnot walks down Jukasa. He's already slowed down quite a bit, has Jukasa. And that big flurry that he threw, he threw everything in there, and it already winded him a bit. And now he's chasing Besaidnot, looking for the takedown. He's going to end up on his back. It's a bad spot for him. Here comes that ground and town, throwing and everything hard. he has in his it is arsenal. Hard. Sledgehammer fist there by Jacasa, but he's going to get tied up by the assassin. A lot of time to work, still a minute 50 odd remaining. Don't know that that was the right strategy by Jean Besaidno, looking for that takedown and sort of just dragging his opponent on top of him. With that sort of reach for Jacasa in this sort of position, if he can posture up, he's got the power, he's got the technique. You can finish from here, absolutely. And a great position there is Shikasa. And now it is going to come down to the ground game. And that's something we see often when you get two brawlers going at it. They always end up on the ground. Some and that's really the way, what yeah. the difference is made. Either that or up against the fence. And the half guard looking to free his leg. But Poseidon has trapped that right leg of Shikasa for the time being anyway. Just occasionally mixing up landing some body now, Dirk, shots. I gotta ask you, what does Triple H power, does that equate to like Hulk Hogan power, The Rock power? I mean, you need one more H, definitely Hulk Hogan, <laughs> holistic Hulk Hogan power. <laughs> Who knows? But he is a big, strong dude that has dynamite in his hands and beside note is covering up and swinging from the bottom. I hate seeing fighters who defend by swinging from the bottom it's it's so incredibly ineffective but it's just desperation from Poseidon he wants to get out of this position and he's going to try anything to do it well it's, I mean, it's a totally different game from the kickboxing from the k1 realm going to the ground sometimes you can get lost in it absolutely and he's also been exhausted he's been on the defensive side now for the majority of this round sort oh. of two minutes or so he's been on the ground you can see he's taking some deep breaths but jacas is going to have to unleash if he's going to look he to finish with seconds either, to though, go right? He's not putting a whole lot behind the those little hammer fists. moving, fist. though, and, and Vika Swart will allow him to move. Now Jacasa looks for Whoa, the... Whoa! Can he get the this? Choke. There's some time. 
And he's wrenching on it, but I don't think he's going to be able to get it. And Bezaidenot is able to survive because he just didn't not, have a not, whole not lot left. Not there towards the end, no, certainly not. I think That's initially, I mean, towards initially, the yeah, towards the end, it was just pitter patter type of shots. But both guys have had a minute to recover. And now, Bezaidenot coming out with a little bit, a little bit more fresh. Uh, round two brought to you by Dragon Energy, specifically designed to maximize mental and physical performance at Dragon Energy. Oh, oh big spinning head of fist. Wow, wow. The spinning back fist. Pulled that one out he's, of his arsenal. He's quick for a big guy, really quick. And that landed flush, and I'm sure it hurt Jakasa ever so slightly, but he fired off a punch of his own. Wow. And you can Switching see how stances a lot, too, is Jakasa. Now in the southpaw stance. You see how light Jean beside note is on his feet. Referee calls for a timeout. It looks like he's warning him for, for keeping his hands open, is because Swart. Oh, okay. Or keep it, like the palms of his hands open. But that's a big part of the rule changes, too. That's something that the commissions and the unified rules have really focused on are those eye pokes and having an open hand when you punch. Oh, big oh, swings and misses by the side note. The K1 coming out strong. Jakasa still looks unfazed, even though he's been hit once or twice. Poseidon takes some deep breaths, and then he, he bounces on his feet ever so once in a while. Nice oh, left hook. Left hand. He's trying to bounce him right out of the hexagon. Big left, big left, big right by Poseidon. The big bomb oh, big from the shot assassin. by Jakasa. This is heavyweight action at its best. You better believe Bar it. Barroom brawling. Both guys are tied. One for one. Just trade him one for one. Big hard punches by the same note now. Prelim action here at EFC 68. Follow along on social media. Big and kick here to the body. One. Big swing and a miss that time. Jacasa lands a punch. The same note digs deep. Big swing again. Crowd is absolutely into this fight, and why not? Looking for the takedown, sloppy and lazy by Jakasa. He's tired. Exhaustion. Dirk, he's absolutely Exhaustion exhausted. does that. And now Bezaino's going to look to finish here. Bezaino throwing the big shots here, trying to end Matunga Jakasa. Jakasa's literally just covering up here, and referee will stop it if he continues that. He has to move. Because you can't just tell turtle. Him to move. Yeah, you can't just turtle and hope for the best. Vickers will absolutely step in. On the side. Not in a great spot right here. If Pizzadino can land two or three uncontested shots. And let me tell you, those short little punches that Pizzadino throws, there's a ton of power behind those things. And somehow Jacasa's back up. Are you kidding me? He won't go away. Two minutes 20. Will we see a third round? Nice oh left. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. <laughs> How much fun is this? This is like just taking it straight from the VNA waterfront where he actually owns a club and just taking it right inside to the hexagon. Big punch Big to right the body. Hand. How is he still on his feet? Oh. Jacasa won't go down. But Jacasa's throwing some of his own. The same <laughs> note, hands on his sides. He is exhausted. Both guys. Oh, spinning back first, followed by a. He's like a zombie. You can't put him away. And now looking for the takedown, is he going to die? Oh, this time he gets the top position. I don't position. think he gets back up from this. No, I, 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 this is his opportunity to Full finish. Mouth. John Besaid, no. One. The crowd is roaring here in the Grand Arena. Looking to finish, both guys exhausted. John Besaid, no, is digging deep. Somehow Jacasa is getting his defenses up, though. He's still getting his hands up. Vika Swart is watching very closely. And but, this minute 15 is going to feel like an eternity for both of these guys. But Sainot has to work there. If he wants to finish this, he's going to have to. He's trying to dig down, but he just doesn't have much dirt. It's just one punch at a time at this point <laughs> in the game. <laughs> just baby steps. Just baby steps. Oh, we're oh gonna... nearly a bam, bam, bigelow. <laughs> nearly. <laughs> Looking for the double shot. Nice elbows through the middle. That is that good technique. Yeah, that absolutely. He needs to return with Elbows that. Elbows are always better than punches. And John Bessay note. Jakasa still somehow, some way is alive. He has to move. He has to get his defenses up. Bessay note is looking to capture his first victim here in the EFC. Gets through with another punch. Now he goes for a high amount. Ooh, I don't know if that's a good idea. Oh, oh, He's going to no. go for an arm bar. Oh, yes. Oh, he gets and it he from the top it. position. Wow. 
That was the most basic, <laughs> nasty Exhausted. little rough let me, arm let me bar. grab it off <laughs> and rip it off. What a victory, a tale of two rounds that was. Somebody get these guys some oxygen, stat, <laughs> please. And this is not even at altitude, this is right at Jeez. sea level in Cape Town. Oh my, if it was at altitude, they'd have been done halfway through the first, I think. Bringing you the replay. And here we go, transition to the side in that top position, almost immediately Wow. gets the tap, but that was on and it was in deep and he was talking on that arm. Couldn't be bothered to fall to the side and complete. It'll just sit right up and grab yeah, your arm and take it home with you. Oh, he really plenty. Yeah, yeah. No, he had plenty on it. He didn't really have to fall to the side wow. from there. Great work by the assassin, Jean Bezidno. What a great feeling it must be for him on debut, getting the big time victory. Declaring your winner by tap out to the armbar, Sean the Assassin Bezidno.